Welcome to Stories for Wonderful Children. I'm your host and storyteller, Dan Wendelin. Today's story was told to my daughters in May of 2008. It's a story about a spy, and I hope, like them, that you like a good spy story. There was a girl who was a spy. She was a spy for her country. Her country's name was Lalinda. Lalinda was a beautiful land full of flowers and full of paintings and pictures that people had drawn and full of people who liked to cook beautiful things and draw beautiful things and sing beautiful songs. Lalinda was protected by a magical shield that kept out anyone who wished to harm Lalinda or any of the people who lived there. Lalinda was right next door to another country called Gronk. Gronk was a country where nobody painted and nobody sang. They only cooked food that kept their bodies healthy, and they only drew things when they needed to show somebody something like a map. And they did not plant flowers. They only planted things that they could eat. Now for some like reason... Peas and like peas Like peas. Now for some reason that no one really understood, the king of Gronk did not like having the people of Lalinda live right next door. The people of Gronk didn't mind the people of Lalinda. They didn't live the way they did, but that was okay. They figured the people of Lalinda lived the way they wanted to live, and the people of Gronk could live the way they wanted to live. And they had a little bit of trading back and forth through the shield, because the people of Lalinda liked some of the food that they grew in Gronk. And the people in Gronk sometimes like to get a picture or something from Lalinda. But the king of Gronk was very unhappy. Well, what was the girl's name? Oh, well, she was a spy, and so she kept her name secret. And she would change her name depending on what it needed to be, so that it was hard to keep track of her. And in addition to changing her name, she would change her hair color. She would eat more or eat less, so she weighed more or less. How did she change her hair? By dyeing it. She had a bunch of different hair dyes, and she would change it different colors. Now, the problem was that the king of Gronk had a servant who was a powerful wizard, and he had set the servant to work, finding a way to bring down the shield, because he wanted to rule over Lalinda and Gronk. No one really knew why. The girl's job was to find out what the wizard was plotting. And for this, she had found that one of the palace maids was going on vacation. And that palace maid had red hair. So the spy dyed her hair red, and she snuck into the girl's house when the girl was gone on vacation, and she took one of her uniforms. And then she went into the king of Gronk's palace dressed as a maid. And then she managed to get the assignment to clean the wizard's quarters. And so she went up and she dusted, and as she dusted, she looked. She looked around at the books he was reading about magical shields, and he, she saw that he had a particular plan, a particular page open. And on that page, there was a plan for finding a particular type of purple pixie dust and sprinkling it on the shield and that that would make the shield get weaker and weaker over time. Well, then she walked around the table and she saw that there was a map of all the places you could find purple pixie dust. And as it turned out, there weren't very many. As a matter of fact, there was only one. The only place in all the world that you could get purple pixie dust was from the purple pixies. And the purple pixies only lived on Purple Mountain at the very top. After she had seen this, 
the spy left on her way out, someone said, you girl, what's your name? And I remember the name of the girl she was impersonating. She said, my name's Anna. And the guard said, well, Anna, I need my quarters cleaned too. And she said, I'm sorry. I'm assigned only to clean the wizard's quarters today. And she walked off. She left the castle. And she went and she found an empty bus. She put on a curly black wig and she found a bus driver's jumpsuit and she got in the bus and she drove it off. And as she was leaving Gronk, the guards at the edge of Gronk cast her where she was going and she said that she was taking this bus to pick up the wizard from the Purple Mountain as instructed by His Majesty the King. And the guards let her through. They asked her her name and she said that her name was Lily, and she drove on and she drove on until she got to Purple Mountain, and she waited there, and the wizard came out, and he came down the mountain, and she saw that he had a sparkling bag tied to his belt, and he walked up to the bus, and she opened the door, and he said, what are you doing here? And she said, I'm Lily, sir, at your service. I'm here on the king's orders. He thought you might want a ride back. And the wizard said, that's excellent. I'm very tired after negotiating with the purple pixies. And he sat down in the bus. And very soon he drifted off to sleep. And Lily very quietly switched the bag on his belt for another bag full of sugar that she had dyed purple. And then she hid the purple pixie bus back. And then she drove him all the way to the palace and said, here's where you get out. And the wizard got off and he thanked her very much. And he left and she got out of the bus and she changed back into another set of clothes so that she looked like a shopkeeper. And she dyed her hair brown. And then she walked back to the shield. And the guards at the shield on the Gronk side asked her who she was and what her business was. And she said that she was a shopkeeper going to sell some of her peas at the fair. And they said, okay, you may go. And she walked through the shield. As she walked through the shield, she took out the bag of purple pixie dust. And she took it, and she took it to her favorite artist and said, here, why don't you make this into something pretty? And so the artist decided to have her pose. And he said, here, Henrietta, because that was the name she had given him said, here, let me paint you. And so he painted her. And that day, because she was so happy to be back home and to have sha painted saved... Painted her? Like painted, paint all over her? No, like painted a picture of her. Oh. She was so happy to be back home and to, be, and to have saved the shield that that day she had dyed her hair purple. And so he used the purple pixie dust to paint the color of her hair onto the picture. And she put it in her very own apartment where she stayed for three whole weeks, relaxing, until it was once a again time for her to go be the spy that defended the shield. Thanks for listening to Stories for Wonderful Children. I created today's story, but questions and witty commentary were supplied by my children. The music was created by Brandon Thompson. Your reviews and personal recommendations are the main way that new listeners find the show, so thank you for spreading the word. I'd love to hear your feedback, so feel free to get in touch via email or social media, which are listed in the show notes. Until next time, I'm Dan Wendelin, reminding you to tell someone you love a story.